the homie tried to take my head off. Here I was thinking that I was about to have the wave of my life. Okay, so I was wrong. See, I was in the inside and he had the right of way. But let me paint a picture for you. Let me tell you how it went down. See, it was 86 degrees in the evening at six o'clock, the golden hour when the sun was setting so beautiful and perfect at Venice Beach. It was so nice and warm. The water was warm, the air was warm, and it was no wind. And Rick said he was gonna meet me out there for a surf session after I told him about the night before how wonderful the, surf, the sunset surf session was. So, and see when it's low going into high tide, you get sets all the way coming from, um, all the way from the outside coming in, breaking, and then you get inside waves too. So it was like a dance of paddling because the waves were breaking unpredictably. And you could see that we were in the lineup and then after taking a wave, I'd be on the outside, I'd be on the inside. It was just everywhere. So, with the sun setting, it was this massive glare on the ocean. I couldn't see. I just couldn't see. And, okay, I was running my mouth, laughing, kicking the bobos, not paying attention, but I saw that the sun was being covered up. And I just saw this dark wave coming at me. So, I just kicked in gear and was like, let me paddle and cut, catch this wave. And, well, the homie then smashed me in the head. But actually, it got caught on my foot first and then my butt. And so by the time it did hit my head, the impact wasn't as hard. But thank God for soft top surfboards. Thank you, makers, because it's times like these when it could have been really bad that I was saved <sighs> we had an amazing time like this that makes us junkies.
wonderful night on the water.